He is the most important architect of the style modern. Without Mies van der Rohe, the art of architecture would be something else today. He perfected the steel frame construction. By projecting the Barcelona Pavilion of 1929, he created an icon of the 20th century. He was multifaceted. He designed residential houses, factory buildings, exhibition stands, furniture. As chairman of the Werkbund and director of the Bauhaus Design School, he shaped the architectural style of his era. Mies is well known both as the avant-gardist from Berlin and as the founder of the international style, the modern high-rise construction in the United States. There are, however, additional facts. The world-renowned architect worked for 10 years almost exclusively for a small circle of factory owners at the Lower Rhine. The film Mies in Krefeld presents now one of the most creative faces of the world-famous architect under new light. Nowhere else can someone see more buildings of his radical groundbreaking period except for Krefeld. Es stellt sich einfach die Frage, wie konnte das überhaupt passieren? Krefeld ist letztlich auch damals Provinz gewesen. Wie konnte es passieren, dass hier in Krefeld eine solche Häufung in der Zusammenarbeit geschieht von einem Architekten dieser Qualität? Mies in Krefeld. This is simultaneously the history of the Silk Baron Hermann Lange. The successful entrepreneur and collector of artworks commissions Mies for the construction of his villa, the famous Haus Lange. Further commissions follow. 80 years later, Lange's great-granddaughter Christiane delves into all the projects, those well-known and those almost famous until now, which drew the architect now and again back to Krefeld. How they were materialized and why this industrial city in the province of the Lower Rhine of all others was meant to become a center of the avant-garde architecture, this is what the film Mies in Krefeld answers to.